This video presents a slight modification to my previous video, where RF24 wireless network is now made of three transmitters and one receiver. Now we have three transmitters sending temperature and humidity data to one receiver. The first transmitter is using DHT11 sensor, the second is using DHT22 sensor, and the third is using AM2320 sensor. This is the pipe address for the first transmitter, and this is the pipe address for the second, and the pipe address for the third. The pipe addresses only differ in the least significant byte. At the receiver side, temperature and humidity values are displayed on this OLED screen. The first sets of values are coming from DHT11 sensor. The second set of values are coming from AM2320 sensor. And the last set of values are from the DHT22 sensor. Let's have a look at the modifications done to the receiver sketch. The transmitter sketches are the same and they were explained in my previous video. In the receiver sketch we need to define the three pipes so that the receiver can uh, link and communicate with the transmitters. Within the set of function we enable the RF24 receiver module to listen to the three pipes as shown in these three statements. Inside the loop function and if data packets are available at the receiver module we get the first uh, sensor data from the first pipe and store it in the structure variable sensor data and then we call this function in order to display the temperature and humidity on the OLED screen and we do the same with the second pipe we read the sensor data and uh, then display the data on the OLED screen and then we read the third pipe and then display the data on the OLED screen. Inside function displays sensor data and based on the value of sensor number if sensor number is 1 we display the temperature and humidity coming from DHT11 if sensor number is 2, then we display the temperature and humidity coming from AM2320 sensor. And finally, if the sensor number is 3, then we display the temperature and humidity coming from DHT22 sensor. In conclusion, the project can easily be modified to enable up to 6 transmitters to send data to a single receiver. Thank you for watching.